Welcome to our video about diabetes and mental illness. The relationship between diabetes and mental illness is well documented, and it's not surprising, psychiatric disorders are linked to higher blood sugar levels. However, there's more to this relationship than meets the eye. Diabetes and obsessive compulsive disorder go hand in hand, as does schizophrenia. In fact, more people than ever before are suffering from both conditions. This article explores the relationship between diabetes and these mental illnesses, including the impact on daily life. Stress hormones affect blood sugar levels. The role of stress in mental health is unclear, but stress can affect blood sugar levels in both conditions. A surge in stress hormones called adrenaline and cortisol can result in a spike in blood sugar. Adrenaline and cortisol are the body's fight or flight hormones. These hormones cause the body to store extra glucose for energy. However, people with diabetes have trouble processing this extra glucose. Type 2 diabetes patients may find it more difficult to manage their blood sugar during stressful times. The high levels caused by stress can require higher doses of diabetes medications or insulin. These high levels can complicate diabetes management. In such cases, it is essential for patients to be able to control their blood sugar levels in a healthy manner. To cope with the situation, people must be aware of how stress affects them. Studies show that stress hormones can cause insulin resistance, a condition in which energy is unable to get into cells. High blood sugar, or hyperglycemia, is a common result of insulin resistance. When this happens, blood sugar levels may rise uncontrollably, causing serious complications. In such cases, treatment should focus on managing stress and reducing anxiety. Although stress can make us eat more often, it doesn't have to. Managing diabetes can also be tricky if stress is a constant part of your life. Although it can be difficult to predict if your blood sugar will spike during a stressful time, it's crucial to check your blood glucose levels often, especially before a meal. It may even be helpful to learn relaxation techniques. These techniques help reduce the body's hormonal response to stress. Many relaxation techniques can be learned in a class or book. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder Affects Blood Sugar Levels The prevalence of obsessive compulsive disorders is higher in patients with poorly controlled blood glucose, according to a recent study. Although the cause of the obsessive compulsive disorder is unknown, the association between blood glucose and a 1C levels is surprisingly strong. Researchers performed a regression analysis to determine the exact relation between the two variables and found that patients with above one c levels above 7% had a 5.5-fold increased risk of having obsessive-compulsive disorder symptoms. The authors conclude that the relationship between obsessive-compulsive disorder and blood sugar levels is not a simple mental response to chronic stress. One recent study linked OCD with hyperglycemia and insulin resistance. Researchers found that type 2 diabetes patients with hyperglycemia and a high homocysteine level also had higher OCD symptoms. However, it is not yet clear if this effect is permanent, and more studies are needed to fully determine whether OCD affects blood sugar levels. But one interesting result from the study suggests that insulin resistance is a risk factor for OCD since unstable blood sugar levels are linked to increased production of stress hormones, which may increase anxiety. Therefore, a hypoglycemic diet may be beneficial to those with OCD, since it can normalize blood glucose levels and prevent the overproduction of stress hormones. In addition to diabetes, obsessive-compulsive disorders are often associated with fear and anxiety. As such, living with one or the other will make the other disease even more difficult. For example, the average person with diabetes will constantly worry about their blood sugar level. But an individual with OCD is a different story. The obsession with blood sugar levels may consume the sufferer's life. Schizophrenia is the most common psychiatric diagnosis with diabetes. Although there are many factors that can increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, schizophrenia is the most common psychiatric disorder associated with the condition. Both conditions are linked to increased inflammation, which may be caused by shared genetic pathways. The existing studies are not large enough to draw definitive conclusions, but the relationship between diabetes and schizophrenia could be explained by genetic overlap. Ultimately, better treatment for both conditions will improve overall health and prevent the development of diabetes. 
People with schizophrenia may face more challenges in obtaining and following treatment for their condition. They may require more frequent visits, and a streamlined explanation of recommendations. They may also be more likely to suffer from long-term complications of diabetes if the condition is not treated adequately. Further, their condition may require multiple specialist referrals and longer follow-ups. In addition to diabetes, schizophrenia patients may require more follow-up visits, requiring more frequent follow-ups. Psychosocial treatment can be a helpful option after the medication has worked well. It can help people manage symptoms, find ways to express their emotions, and even pursue life goals. Regular psychosocial treatment can reduce the likelihood of relapse and hospitalization, which is another benefit. However, it is important to note that treatment may not be the same for everyone. A psychologist can offer a better treatment plan for schizophrenia if it is the right choice for you. If you or someone you know suffers from schizophrenia, you may want to seek treatment immediately. Schizophrenia affects approximately one in every 100 people, and the early stages may last for years. There are different types of schizophrenia, including schizophreniform and senesthopathic. Both psychiatric diagnoses are characterized by altered behavior and perception. Depression affects daily lives. Depressed mood is common. One in 10 adults experiences depressive episodes at one time in their life. Approximately half of these are severe cases. The symptoms of depression include cognitive difficulties such as excessive worrying, difficulty making decisions, and trouble with memory. Physical symptoms include changes in appetite, sleep problems, and heart palpitations. People who are depressed may also develop lack of motivation and a feeling of hopelessness. Treatment for depression includes medication or psychotherapy. There are different types of antidepressants, including tricyclic antidepressants. Different medications have different effects on the brain. Antidepressant medications may not work for everyone. Other types of psychotherapy include group therapy, which brings people with similar illnesses together in a supportive environment. The treatment for depression may take a few weeks or more, depending on the severity of the condition. However, people can expect a significant improvement in symptoms within 10 to 15 sessions. Although depression is a common side effect of diabetes, there are few studies looking at how it affects people with both diseases. Although depression is an entirely separate mental illness, it is associated with increased levels of anxiety and sadness. However, despite these negative consequences, people with both mental illnesses and diabetes are more likely to experience depression than those without diabetes. Depression has been associated with increased levels of anxiety and decreased ability to function in everyday life. While depression is a mental illness, it does not mean that you have to be depressed to develop it. Many medical conditions can make a person more susceptible to depression, such as substance abuse or diabetes. The symptoms of depression can range from a low energy mood to physical problems. Depression can lead to suicidal thoughts and a decrease in the ability to function at work. People who suffer from both conditions should seek help from a qualified doctor if symptoms persist. Treatment Options It has long been recognized that a person suffering from both diabetes and mental illness has a high risk for the two conditions. In addition to the heightened risk of diabetes, people with mental illness are at a greater risk of misdiagnosis, inappropriate treatment, and comorbidity. While the exact mechanisms are unknown, some researchers believe that treatment for mental health disorders increases the risk of diabetes. These factors could be due to the biochemical changes resulting from psychiatric disorders. Lifestyle changes may also be factors. There are several treatment options for both types of diabetes. People with type 1 diabetes must take insulin every day since the body is unable to produce the hormone. For people with type 2 diabetes, treatments include insulin and lifestyle changes, such as eating a balanced diet and getting more exercise. The goal of treatment is to manage diabetes and its associated symptoms so that a person's overall health improves. In some cases, insulin is not even necessary, some treatments can be done without the patient's knowledge. In addition to medication, there are lifestyle changes and psychological treatments to help people with diabetes manage their depression. These are available through the diabetes care team. Therapy involves talking through feelings and balancing treatment plans healthily. Different forms of therapy are available, including cognitive behavioral therapy, 
family therapy, and dialectical behavioral therapy. Many antidepressants and other medications can also help manage diabetes and mental illness. A doctor may recommend a combination of these treatments to help the patient overcome both conditions. Diabetics should not isolate themselves. They should talk to their physicians about their mental health concerns. Getting help is vital for both conditions, and it does not have to be difficult. With the right resources, diabetes can be managed successfully and effectively. If you or a loved one suffers from either mental illness or a serious physical condition, you can overcome the challenges of both. If the symptoms persist, you may find yourself in the company of mental health professional. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this was helpful.